There can be no stable and enduring peace without the participation of the People's Republic of China. In China, it was the Cultural Revolution of Mao Zedong. In the United States, it was a counterculture revolution against Nixon's America. During this turmoil, it was 15 unlikely American diplomats who would bridge this great divide. Good evening. The bamboo curtain has been cracked by a ping pong ball. China lifted the bamboo curtain today long enough to let in 15 American ping pong players. The first time a group of Americans has been invited to visit China in more than 21 years since the communists took over. Must have heard about Glenn Cowan getting on the wrong bus. Cowan was a hippie opportunist. I think I could mediate between him and Nixon very easily. Maybe we make a If it hadn't happened, it would have been done some other way because Nixon and Mao wanted it to happen. We were just the lucky ones who were there. Before the trip, we were nobodies. All of a sudden, we were rock stars. The world was going ping pong crazy. When you read history books, you just wonder how many wacky things happen. Can you imagine that? Or is that how that happened? Well, this is one of those. <laughs> 